Warehouse Management. Acumatica offers basic warehouse management functionality with barcode scanning. Mobile devices interact with ERP data in real time without intermediate servers. In this video, we review automated receiving and shipping processes. To minimize the video runtime, we will not cover some of the operations, such as physical inventory counts and automated creation of in issues and receipts. During this demonstration, I will use a Zebra TC20 device to scan barcodes I created for sales demonstration items. To get started, install Acumatica 2019 R1 and enable automated warehouse operations on the Enable Disables Features screen. Preferences for each WMS process are managed in the corresponding Preferences screens. Within Inventory, you can set preferences related to transfers and physical inventory counts. Within Purchasing, you control the way purchase receipts are handled. The single and default receiving location options allow you to minimize scans with certain workflows. With sales orders, you control the way picking, packing, and shipping processes are managed and displayed. In my user profile, I can define a default warehouse so I don't have to frequently scan it. In this video, I review operations associated with this sample warehouse layout. Acumatica can accommodate different processes, but I'll use this for illustrative purposes. Acumatica supports multiple receive and put away scenarios. In this demonstration, I'll receive two purchase orders. The first will follow process one, where I receive the goods and immediately place them into storage. The second purchase order will show process two. I will do an inspection and then transfer items to storage. Workflow three involves processing multiple receipts using a cart. This process is not available in this video. To begin receiving, I navigate to the receiving clerk dashboard. In this demo, I will receive the two purchase orders at the bottom. On the loading dock, boxes arrive with purchase order information. On my mobile device, I use the Acumatica app and select the Receive and Put Away applet. I scan the PO number to begin. Acumatica automatically creates the purchase receipt. Next, I scan the item that I'm receiving. In this example, I'm receiving a pallet of goods, so I scan the barcode associated with this unit of measure. On each inventory item, you can specify barcodes that are specific to a specific unit of measure. Since this item requires a lot number, I scan one. To minimize scanning, I could have set a preference to use a default auto-generated lot number. Next, I scan the warehouse location where I will store the pallet. This allows me to receive and put away in one step. Now I begin working on the second line of the purchase order. I receive the items by scanning the barcode and entering a location. In this example, I don't have a complete box, so I push the quantity button to set the receipt quantity. If I receive more items than expected on the purchase order, the system will warn me and create an additional line on the purchase receipt. My purchase order is now received. To confirm the receipt, I click the three dots in the top right and select the option to release the receipt. When I return to my ERP application, I find my purchase receipt that was created by my mobile device. For the second purchase order, I receive an item, do an inspection, and then place the item into storage. In the Purchase Order Preferences area, I change my receiving workflow. By checking the default receiving location, I will minimize my scanning. As before, I scan the purchase order number to get started. I scan two items and the purchase order is marked as received. After inspecting the items, I enter put away mode to initiate a transfer. I can do this by changing the mode or by scanning a special barcode. First, I scan the released purchase receipt. Now I scan the receiving location. Next, I scan the item, scan the destination location, enter the quantity of the items being moved. After releasing this transfer, I can view the document that was created with my mobile device and my put away is complete. Acumatica WMS supports multiple types of shipping flows. In this video, we ship two orders and demonstrate two options with the single order process. Flow 2 involves multiple shipments in carts and will be demonstrated in a future video. Flow 3 has a process to replenish the picking area handled outside of Acumatica WMS and a process of picking, packing, and shipping much like what we will cover next. In this example, we ship two sales orders. 
To start, an automated process creates today's shipments. I'll run this manually. From the dashboard, I see shipments that I need to pick and pack. The side panel allows me to see the details of the shipment and create a pick list. I can also bulk print pick lists if required. On my mobile phone, I can complete the process by selecting the Pick, Pack, and Ship applet. Following the prompts, I scan the shipment number, scan the location where I'm picking from, and set the quantity picked. If needed, I can click the Review button to see the status of items on my shipment. In the background, Acumatica adds the items to the shipment. When ready, I click the three dots in the upper right corner and confirm it. The shipment confirmation and shipment labels can print automatically, or I can print them manually depending on settings and sales order preferences. In the next example, I will specify packing and box contents. The process begins as it did in the first example. Scan the ship number, scan the location, scan items. But when I'm finished picking, I can enter the packing mode by scanning a special barcode or by changing the mode. Once in packing mode, I scan a box and begin scanning the items as I place them into the box. When the box is full, click OK and enter the weight of the box. I can now scan my next box or confirm the entire shipment. Once confirmed, I return to my ERP system and review the shipment that was created behind the scenes. The Packages tab has the box information and I can review the labels that were retrieved from my carrier. Acumatica Warehouse Management is completely integrated with all ERP data. This allows me to use the Acumatica app with any Android or iOS scanner to communicate warehouse changes in real time. In 2019 R1, we provide a full feature set for most small and medium-sized business applications. Future releases will continue to add additional time-saving features. For more information about Acumatica, visit our website or contact an Acumatica partner.